Upon logging into the Stratoscope portal, we are taken to the dashboard screen for our managed hosted environment. Here we see at a high level all servers, storage, and networks available to us. In my case here I have physical, private cloud, and public cloud servers. The storage allocated to my environment is shown to the right. Distinguish between what storage is used for the physical servers and what is used for the cloud servers. In the network section, it shows the total internet bandwidth I have purchased, how many public IP addresses I've purchased, and am using. If firewall rules have been configured, and if I'm utilizing a site to site VPN connection, that is also highlighted here. Across the top of the screen are the administrative functions within the Stratoscale portal, allowing for visibility into the environment reports, account information determining who has read versus read write access. The purchase tab is a direct link into the Stratoscale online shopping environment, and the support tab. In the support tab are numerous technical documents ranging from quick start, user and frequently asked question guides, allowing all clients the ability to quickly get an understanding of the functionality that is available to them within the Stratoscale management portal. Within the support tab is also a download center that contains checklists and configuration documents for some of the additional value add services provided by Stratoscale, such as disk to disk backup, load balancing configuration, and SSL acceleration services. Here clients will also find the downloadable virtual machine OS images that can be used when deploying VMware or Hyper-V virtualized environments. Service requests can also be opened and tracked directly from within the Stratoscale portal. The Contact Us tab provides email addresses and phone numbers for both our sales and technical support teams. On the Server Pool tab, we can see more detail as it relates to the servers within our environment. The interface is intuitive enough to know that if a server is built with the Microsoft operating system, there will be a Microsoft icon. If it's built with a Linux operating system, that logo will show as well and if it's a virtualized environment then a logo will show for that technology as well. On the storage pool page we can see all volumes that have been created and if they are attached to a server. We can also see all gold images that have been both included by default by Stratoscale and those that we as a client have created. On the Network Pool tab, we can see an overview of the bandwidth and networking configuration established within our environment. At the top, we show the total amount of internet bandwidth purchased, the number of LANs purchased, and the number of public IP address currently in use. Here clients have the option of turning on or off an internet bandwidth cap. All of our networks are shown with the servers attached to that network, we can easily rename these networks as it is necessary. We can also click on the network name and drill down into more detail to see and if necessary edit all of the firewall rules that are currently established within each network. On the security tab we show an extension of the network tab by allowing clients the ability to drill down and see the firewall rules that have been established. There is also visibility into the site-to-site -site VPN configurations that have been established and the ability to click and download the forms that are necessary for setting up that site-to-site -site VPN connection.